Yo, what is up guys, Anthony Kings here today with another brand new video and today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to edit your audio in Audacity for cut comps, for commentaries, for gameplays, for reviews, for whatever you want to use Audacity for or at least how I edit my audio in Audacity. This was a requested video and I had a customer come into my store who wants to help his son get into YouTube and I thought I would make this video in order to help them out because audio quality is extremely important and it does make a difference. Now before we really get into the tutorial, there are two things that I want to say that I did not say or do in the recording process. The first is that when you begin recording, you're going to always want to at least leave about five seconds of absolute silence in the beginning. As you can see now, there is the audio clip and then there's this open gap of silence right next to the left of it. There is a reason for that and I'll explain that shortly. Second is if you have a USB mic, you want to make sure that your Audacity is registered to that USB mic. I will try to zoom into the exact section that this kind of shows you what mic you're on. Unfortunately, I can't click it at the moment. But if you click it, you scroll down, make sure it is to the exact USB mic that you are currently using. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get the tutorial started. Yo what is up guys Anthony Kings here today with a brand new video and this time it's going to be a test audio for Audacity. Alright now once you have your test audio you want to highlight the empty space right next to the audio that you have. You want to go to effects, noise reduction and then get noise profile. You're going to click that then you're going to highlight the entire clip or track go effects again noise reduction and click OK what that's gonna do is it's gonna completely remove any background sound as you can see it just minimized any background noise that you had at all you're gonna re-highlight it go back to effects and click on compressor compressor what that's gonna do is make sure it's set to 15 40 and everything else should be the same but make sure it looks I'd almost close to identical to mine if not 15 then 13 and click OK next you want to go to effects you want to go to equalizer and then go to bass boost hit OK and you're gonna do the same thing and go to treble boost what this is gonna do it's gonna give you a bit of a bass boost and a bit of a treble boost if you're a female I don't recommend adding the bass boost you could even skip that step completely it's completely up to you go uh, to effects again go down to limiter and make sure it says I believe that says negative 3.0 and 10 so you want to make sure it looks as close to mine as possible it should be as default hit ok then what that did is it cut off the highest peaks of the audio so that way everything sounds nice you're going to go back to effects and hit normalize make sure it says negative 1.0 and hit ok while making sure everything is checked off what that's going to do is it's going to if you have any lowered audio it's going to bump it up to make sure the audio sounds nice yo what is up guys anthony kings here today with a brand new video and this time it's going to be a test audio for audacity and with that you are all set right now i'm going to go ahead and give you guys a demonstration of what the old one sounded like compared to what the new one sounds like now yo what is up guys anthony kings here today with a brand new video and this time it's going to be a test audio for audacity Yo what is up guys Anthony Kings here today with a brand new video and this time it's going to be a test audio for Audacity. Now let me go ahead and give you guys a brief explanation of what each thing did in case I went a little bit too fast for you. So what the noise reduction does is it completely removes any background noise, all of that little jittery, static, anything that you have a fan maybe going on in the background to enable your voice to stand out more than anything else. What compressor does is it heightens the audio so it kind of amplifies it to a bit so that way it, it just sounds nicer and I believe it also makes the file size smaller I could be wrong on that next the equalizer you're gonna add a bass boost and treble boost if you're a guy it's gonna give it a bit of a deeper tone to it treble boost is just it's also gonna make it sound nicer the limiter it's going to cut off any high pitched areas so in some areas you'll have a really high pitched and then some areas will be really low pitch what the limiter is going to do is it's going to like just block that and it's going to barricade it to where it maxes out at a certain pitch that's really good so that way you don't have really high spikes and then really low spikes and then really high spikes and what normalize does is it takes those really low spikes and kind of tries to even it out and equalize it with those now limited high spikes so it gives your voice a nice even tone all of this is what I do and believe it or not it seems like a lot but it's really fast once you get used to it it's only what four steps and boom you're done you have crisp audio and it sounds great and I just now realized that I did not mention how to export the audio once you're done using it that's very simple you go to file in the top left corner and then click on export audio 
then you just save it. It's going to save as a WAV file and you can continue editing it from there or you can try to make it an into MP3 file, but there's extra steps you have to go through for that. Now, before this video does end, I want to give you guys a quick demonstration of how I use Audacity while recording using the Elgato and the webcam software. So that way you guys can see what it's like to have like the three programs opening in order to record each one. So that way you guys can see and if it's something you're looking to do, then I highly recommend use Audacity because like I said, audio is extremely important too. Once I've hit that record button, this is how I have my setup in order to be able to record my gaming. So when I use the camera, I have the Logitech setup webcam right here in the middle. Kind of forgot that it's going to show the webcam. Ugh. Well, have the webcam set up right here in the middle. I have Audacity pushed over to the side, and then I have the Elgato capturing my PC display right here at this very moment. So that's why you can see it right here, and it looks like it's kind of overlapping everything you already see. So this way, what I do is I hit record, record, record. So I have one monitor over here that has everything you're seeing on this screen, and then I have my gaming monitor right here, which allows me to, you know, game, and then everything's being captured to the left side of me. So I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If Even if it's just a little bit helpful, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what I could improve. Make sure to leave a like. It lets me know people are out there watching and enjoying my content. And if you have any advice for me, if you feel like there's something that I didn't explain properly or that I could have explained better, make sure to also leave that down in the comment section below. I get back to every comment or at least I try to. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, be a part of this royal family, and you know how it goes. Be humble, stay royal, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.